And in this final video, you're going to learn how to test the template you just built. Welcome back to Solisense channel. This is the final of my three part video series on NDA template creation. And in this final video, you're going to learn how to test the template you just built in your developer environment to adjust the field to make sure that everything looks perfect before you go live and then you'll be ready to move on to production. So if you've got OCD or care about branding or both like me, you will appreciate this tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous videos where I taught how to prepare the document uh, and then create the template, well then go ahead and watch those now, otherwise that's not gonna make much sense to you. But if you did, welcome back and let's test our template now. And if you're new to DocuSign and don't know where to start, I recommend that you download my DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet to help you navigate the template creation process and understand what field you need to use on your documents. It's totally free and it helped a lot of my students. So I want you to have it. You can click on the link in the description of this video to download it now. I'm going to click on use and as you can see the VP of sales name and email cannot be changed so that's exactly what we want and so receiving party I'm just going to change maybe my name to Sofian receiving party and then I'm just going to click on send. Okay so now let's go to my emails to check what the envelope looks like. Okay, so that's the envelope. We can see that there's not enough space between uh, the date and the static word of the document. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to increase the spacing, also fix the horizontal alignment. So let's just go back to our template in DocuSign. What you want to do basically when you're testing is you want to have your template um, open and you also want to have your envelope um, during the signing process. And so you see, it's kind of, you kind of need to send a couple of test envelopes because you wouldn't be able to tell uh, by just looking at this how, you would, I mean, you would think that there is enough space between the E and the D, right? But it's actually not what the envelope reflects. So that's why you kind of need to send at least, I would say five to 10 envelopes for each template you sign and pixel by pixel, you wanna fix that. And I know it's annoying and I don't have any other magic answer for you other than trying to at least save your money by not burning your paid envelopes. So I'm just going to do a couple of, um, you know, down keys and maybe also a couple of right keys and hopefully my date signed will be in the right spot. And the reason I'm so hopeful is because there's no way to be sure. Now let's see how the rest of the document behaves. So let's just say that it's company X and the address is 123 one, Main Street, Sydney. Okay, so we've got the email and my, um, sorry, my email and my name, which is great. Don't need to do anything. I'll just click on start. The company name has already automatically been applied. My title as well, my name and the date. So it's perfect. I'll just click on sign. And that's basically it. So I could just finish the signature process, but there's no point because we know that we're going to have to fix the template. So I'm just going to avoid this envelope for now. I'm just going to send another uh, envelope now that I fixed the date, just to be um, just to check what the difference is. And if you're looking for a partner to assist your business with your DocuSign implementation, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy call with one of our specialists. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so now we can see that there's enough spacing between uh, the two words, but there is there are too many pixels from the top. So I'm not gonna count pixels, but I'm gonna try to fix this as best as I can. So let's go back to DocuSign. And again, this, is, this part is just for OCDs, uh, people like me, but if you don't mind, that's totally fine. So now if I click on my field in my template and expand the location tab, I see that the this field says that it's placed 120 pixels away from the top. So I just need to reduce that number to make it move back up. I don't wanna use my mouse because it wouldn't be super precise. So I'm just gonna go with 118. And hopefully that will work. Let's um, test again. Okay, 
And I think that's not too bad, it's actually perfect. So you see, it took me three envelopes at least. Um, so that's basically why you, you don't wanna do this in your paid account. Let's just go till the end. And so I'm now looking at the VP of sales um, inbox. And as you can see, the email subject says, please countersign um, for Sofian Saudi. So the reason this appears here is because um, that's the name in the uh, receiving parties um, recipient in the DocuSign template. And I've just signed as the um, disclosing parties uh, countersigner. So now the workflow is done. And so now that I know that my template is working correctly, the next step is to download my uh, template from my Sandbox account, developer account, sorry, and move it to my paid production account. So back to the Sandbox, you want to locate the template that you're happy with and click on download. And once the template is downloaded, you wanna to go to your paid DocuSign account, go to your templates, and from here, you want to click on upload template. If you don't see the upload template button, you have to go to your settings in sending settings and um, enable template upload. And so that's basically it. I've got my template now that's ready to use in my paid DocuSign account. The next step from here would be to share the template with other users of your account. Uh, but this is for another tutorial. I hope that you now feel more confident to build templates on your own. I will see you in the next lesson. Ciao.